Well, since the very beginning, Aldi has been one of my favorite places. Do you shop at Aldi? However, there's a few things that I don't feel like I can buy here anymore, mostly to save on budget, but also a few things they just kind of don't like. So let's talk about those today. And since we're in the produce section, let's start with this. I know Aldi sometimes gets a bad rap for produce. It can be kind of hit or miss and, oh my, hang on a second. Is that, does that look like Christine from Frugal Fit Mom? Do you think it, wait till she turns towards, oh my goodness, I think that's her. Are you Christine from Frugal Fit Mom? Wait a minute, I've seen you online. The minimal mom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can't believe I'm meeting you in person. <laughs> What's called, who's this? <laughs> so these are my friends. And we're talking about things we don't buy at Aldi. Okay. What yes. are you doing here, though? I, I have to get some bananas for. Well, I'm allergic oh, to bananas. Maybe they're, I should hold those oh. for you. <laughs> they're for my husband. I'm trying to get him okay. bananas. Okay. So, well, Christine, you're really good at budgeting and saving money and all of that. So maybe do you want to go with us as we talk about what we don't buy at Aldi anymore? Uh, I would love to. Yeah. All joking aside, we are in Nashville together right now and we get to be at a Ramsey influencer event. I don't know what it is. They just <laughs> <laughs> We're like, how did we get invited to it? So we're also going to visit over on your channel too. Mm -hmm. So I'll be sure to link to that video. But in all seriousness, do you even have an Aldi? <laughs> Christine doesn't even have Aldi by her. No, but they they usually sell Bluebell ice cream. So whenever I travel oh. somewhere that has one, I pick that up. Okay. Do you wish you had an Aldi? Uh, yes. Aldi? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get started with produce. So you may or may not know, uh, produce is sometimes hit or miss at Aldi. I think it's gotten a lot better. How do the bananas look? These look okay, but I was just looking at the apples yeah. um, for the hotel room. Right? Yeah, okay. And they're really squishy. Okay. Even the honey crisps that are supposed to be like really firm and crisp. Yeah. Ah, uh -uh. Okay, so you do have to be selective. I've also found with like the berries and grapes, if you do the thing when you get home and you soak them in the vinegar water, then I have no problem with them lasting, but it does take that extra step usually. So, okay, so produce is number one. You just gotta be kind of picky and selective. Uh, let's move on to paper products. This, we might need your help with some math when it comes okay. to this. Christine does give her stamp of approval though on the pizzas. We do get these. Not so much anymore, but wow, yeah. For the price, that actually is a really good deal. It's $7.50 for this. Are this. you gonna take it's that? Like bigger than the top half of my body. Look at this. <laughs> Are you gonna take it back to the hotel room for dinner? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Christine also forgot a cart, so she's just gonna have to carry. Wait, you're still getting squishy apples? No, these are better. The, oh, like, okay. I'm, I'm squishing them to make sure the quality is good. Okay, these so you just are, have to be selective. These are the firmest, although okay. Granny Smith apples, generally yeah. very crispy, and the sour candy of the fruit world. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like that. All right, let's talk paper products. So if you look at the price, these are actually more expensive than buying them pretty much anywhere else. Even Target comes out ahead. Like, yeah, $9.99 for 100 plates. Yeah, 10 cents a plate. One cent a plate? 10 cents a plate? I think it, people did it. <laughs> nine, nine cents per plate. Nine I cents. would not let my family use those. I'd be like, nine cents, please. <laughs> <laughs> but really all of this, even the toilet paper too, I'm always, I get it because I'm here and I don't want to make another trip, but really it isn't the best options. You probably know your prices a whole lot better than I do. I just, I just know Sam's Club has the best toilet paper. Okay, there you go. I just, it's better than Costco. I know that's. <laughs> don't come at me. Yeah. The Sam's Club and the purple, the purple wrapping. It's like, well, it used to be seventeen dollars. It's not now. But okay. Good to know. It's a great deal and good toilet paper. Well, and as long as we're over here. I have sometimes wanted to grab some like personal hygiene products and they are way too expensive here as well. You're still caught up on the toilet paper. <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, I gotta look at the toilet paper. Yep. So uh, no go on the personal products and really anything brand name here at Aldi isn't generally the best option either. I also like, I don't like having to go to a lot of stores though. That's where Do we're you? different. <laughs> <laughs> Christine will go to 12 different stores will, to save the money, I will, right? I will, but I understand that like I'm I'm short on time, yeah. you know, a one-stop shop, that's the way yeah. it is. I get it, I get yeah. it. So okay. I think it's good. I think if you want to do Aldi for like your must-go-tos, yeah. and then 
I don't mean to push like a big box store like right. a Sam's Club or a Costco, but honestly, when it comes to personal care products, paper products, uh, diapers, wipes, toilet paper, they are the best bang for your buck. Okay, that's good to know because I have had a Costco membership uh, since November and I have used it twice. So I kind of <laughs> want to ask for my money back at the end of the year. You know how they're like, you can get your money back on it. So, all right, maybe I'll go there and stock up on this stuff, especially the stuff that doesn't go bad. And today's right. video is sponsored by Helix. All right, pillow talk. You know, Dawn, you're right. This is no Helix. No. I know you have one. I have one too. You tell me your favorite thing about your Helix and then I'll tell you mine. We were waking up with back pain every single night and I thought that was normal because I was just getting older. And then I realized our mattress was wore out and it was time for an upgrade. And you got the Helix and then? We sleep like babies. Again, honestly, don't you find Christine, like we go to hotels and I am continuously disappointed and it used to be a treat to go to a hotel and now I'm like, I wish I could bring my Helix with me and I'm not joking, right? Like we're not, like we legitimately love our Helix mattresses. I'm so with you. Every time we go anywhere, like right now, this, this hotel room, it's so nice, except this, this mattress is not a Helix mattress. I've had mine for like two years now. Yeah. Every mattress in our house is now a Helix. My yep. brother bought one. My friend bought one. Yep. Oh, which one do you have? I like a really soft mattress, so I oh. have the Sunset Lux. No. Yeah. Ours is more firm. It's the Helix Dusk Lux. Awesome. Oh, you, okay. I Didn't thought I surprise you. you? I thought I knew you better. But you yeah. can go online and take the sleep quiz and it's really easy. And then you can find out if you're more like Christine or more like or more like me. <laughs> okay, so buying a mattress, you know, in the old days, you go to the store and like lay on all the things and then you have delivery people, it's real hassle. Yep. So because you buy this one online, it's easy. Mm -hmm. You just go clickety, clickety, click, and then it shows up at your house, rolled up in a box, you set it up, bang, bang, boom, done, sleep on it that night. But a mattress is like a big investment. Like it's kind yes. of scary mm -hmm. to buy something like that online, which is why the 100 night sleep trial makes so much sense. So it's like really risk-free. And if you don't love it after you sleep on it for a bunch of nights, then they will take care of helping you exchange it. And then beyond that, you also get a 10 year warranty. So we've also had ours for a couple years. It's like, it's still perfectly flat. Okay, so if you wanna pick up a Helix mattress and sleep as well as we do, that's how we have this youthful glow after all. <laughs> it's all the sleep. Use our link down below. You can save 20% off your own Helix mattress. And two free pillows. Two free pillows. Two free pillows. <laughs> it's the first link down in the doobly-doo if you wanna go check that out. Thanks to Helix. And let's get back to the rest of the video. All right, so now we know where to go to that. I'm seeing some stuff down here in the deli section, so let's head down there. Okay, we had to stop at the pet stuff because uh, I don't think the dog food or the cat litter, it's its not, again, this is more of a convenience thing, right? But where do we go for this kind of stuff, Christine? Um, I usually go to Costco for two reasons. Number one, it's the one my dog likes the best. Okay. And I get the huge bags, they're like 38 pounds. It's right at a dollar a pound now. So okay. $38 for 38 pounds. Okay. So this is $20 for 14 pounds. So a dollar 49 or dollar 40 a pound it looks so like. So a dollar 40 a pound. So it's already more expensive. And yeah. My dog is 55 pounds and uh -huh. I'm using the big Costco bag okay. every month. Yeah. So I okay. have to buy more here. It just makes sense to get get a big bag cheaper, and be done. Bigger one, you know what I mean? Yeah. And some then, uh Christine, some people are triathletes like you and can't lift the 55 pound bags. So You just got to lift with your legs. With your legs. Like yeah. That? Okay. And then and then do one of the Cool. One of those. <laughs> yeah. Or you just ask the nice dude down the down the aisle. Okay, I like that actually. Yeah. Although that was cool. Yep. <laughs> so I like a lot of their like dips and hummus and everything, but the prices have gone up. Can I show you my favorite? Okay, this one. Um jalapeno spinach artichoke dip, but look at well actually I think it's cheaper here than at mine. It's for something at ours at home. But it's not actually that big. It's real, real small. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to sound like a Costco. <laughs> I'm going to say, I you're going to say go to Costco for this. <laughs> that is my problem today. I'm not, not sponsored, sponsored by Costco. <laughs> Hashtag non-sponsored. Um, but it is teeny, like, right. which is fine if there's one or one of you or well, two of you. Well, yeah, now, you now my family about. is starting to like spicy foods. I could use it in the past. I'd say it's spicy. You don't want it. What is, you know? what is this dip for ants? Like, look how small this is. <laughs> like, I need the big one. Because it's like one serving right there. Gone. <laughs> this is breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Um, at Costco, it's like five dollars for one that's like four a huge times tub. The yeah. Size. yeah. Okay. Do you like spicy things? Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. should we? Maybe. Maybe we should just take this back, even though it's completely overpriced. With us. As long as we get some crackers. Yeah. Crackers or chips. 
Yes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christine, this is where I'm gonna rely on you. Okay. So protein, bars, supplements, shakes, powders. How's the price and how's the quality? So here's something I weirdly know a lot about. Yep. <laughs> so um, Dave's at the hotel and there's no food there. Um, it's not one of those nice ones with the continental breakfast. <laughs> so he was like, can you get me some protein shakes like we're at the hotel? So there's six in here for six eighty nine. Price wise, pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. So macros, what I'm looking at right now is like how much protein versus how much fat versus how much carbs. Okay. So this is not a protein shake. Oh. It says protein all over it. Yeah. It, oh, it's a meal replacement I'm a, seeing. It, yes, it's a meal replacement. So make sure you're reading and checking the labels. So I'm looking for like two to five carbs and like 30 grams of protein. Yeah. Um, with minimal fat, and this one has 24 grams of carbs and okay. 10 grams of protein. Oh, that's low. This is not a protein shake. Okay. So I'm putting that back. Yeah. And because I can't mix a powder. Yeah, here, right. Um, I, I am looking for like drinks, okay. like pre-made drinks, which I actually don't see. We might have to check another here. aisle. Yeah. Um, let's see. I feel like all these are just... Don't they have so much sugar in They're them? They're just lot? overpriced. Yeah. Protein candy bars. Yes. These candy oh, bars. but these ones, right? Pure and simple. I can't believe the price on these. Okay. So they're a little under a dollar a bar, but yeah. what's in it? Like, this is not a protein bar. Are they and how many is? sugar? Um, <gasps> 18 grams of sugar. That's wrong. That's like a candy bar. It is. These are candy bars. These are like candy bars under the guise of being healthy. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to eat them, whatever, do whatever you want. Right. But but let's be honest about what you're really doing. Okay, let's yeah. look at this protein one. Okay. This is $5.49 for six bars, so just under a dollar. Okay. I saw a horrible as far as a protein bar. But I'm still 12 grams of protein and 22 grams of carbs. Oh, this wow. This is not a protein bar. Yeah. I want 25 grams of protein okay. in my protein bar. So this is not it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> Where's a Costco when you need it? Where's, the, where's my discount grocery store? That's what I okay, want. Okay, all right. All right, let's see what else. I know something else I want to talk about. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what they are in our, in our area. What? What? <laughs> what are you paying for eggs still? Um, probably a dollar seventy. Okay. Do you want to take some of those home with you too? I kind of want to put them in my suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Are these gonna make it past security? <laughs> oh my gosh! Run to Aldi and get eggs. Yeah. This is amazing. Okay. There you go. Um. Okay. But right, actually, over here. Why? Okay. This soda water isn't too bad. Why is soda water? so expensive. Do you drink soda water? I hate soda water. Oh, so I'm just gonna talk with my friends about this one then. So, okay, so for those of us who do like soda water, I have cut way back. The Aldi brand isn't too expensive, but if you're buying the LaCroix and all the fancy bougie names, it is just so expensive. So that, Tom likes the Celsius drinks, we've cut way back on that. Um, any kind of the flavor, the kids like the ice drinks, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'll buy like one package and it needs to last the month or whatever because it was just becoming such a budget line and when other prices were creeping up that was a really easy place that i could cut stuff out oh uh what do we have here nothing <laughs> don't have anything Dawn. why why are you asking yeah. do you like these um i had a viewer tell me that these are better than reese's cups i will not go that far but they are very good but they're good for an off brand so yes. they're it's four dollars for the bag okay not it bad feels like I mean, it's junk food. Junk food costs a lot no matter where. Okay, no like, judgment, but will you really eat both of those while you're well, here? No, no, no. One for Dave, one for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I cannot promise what he's gonna do in the hotel room in his meetings, um, but I wanted to take one home for my kids. Okay, you're such a good mom. Yeah. Knoppers, I don't know how to say it. Milk hazelnut wafer, they're so good. I feel like that's from another country. Is it, it from another country? It probably is another country. Because they, they have all the good foods. Okay, tell us what country and knoppers are from. All right, now if we head over to this aisle, I call this the impulse buying aisle and I try just to not even go down it anymore. Aisle of shame. Aisle of shame. Aisle of stuff that you don't need but's cute and you're just, you know, kind of weak after doing all your grocery shopping and you're like, but that would be fun. Are you seeing anything? Do these count? Oh, pickles. Because these pickles look like I need them. <laughs> Those actually look kind of fun, don't they? I need Dawn to follow me around the store and be like, no, put it back, put it back. See, That's it's actually thing. good when you don't get a cart, right? Because then you like are limited. limited. 
But like, oh, but you know, these gnomes are kind of cute, aren't they? <laughs> Gnomes are out? Gnomes are out. They're, they've Aww. gone all the way with cardigans and maxi skirts. They're out. <laughs> what? <laughs> awesome. If you have not decluttered your cardigans, maxi skirts, and cold shoulder tops, declutter those now. They're out. <laughs> all right. Christine says so. Oh, are you going to take those back to the hotel room? No, this is the biggest waste of money ever. I tried to pick it up and it was like... It's like floated away. Wow, $4.99. Look, it's $5. <gasps> Look, it's six ounces. 83 cents per ounce. Look, this But they're organic. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a lie to make you feel better about your spending. And actually, if you like iced coffee in the summer, this is kind of expensive. $7.46 for 12 But compared to buying it at an actual coffee shop, I actually really like these. So you just brew it in your Keurig, and then I let it cool a little bit, and then you fill up your mason jar with ice and it's actually really good so I do recommend these okay Christine you wouldn't notice this because you don't have an Aldi I've noticed now they have two aisles of impulse buy section uh, it's much like the Dollar Tree has like branched out their plus section into yeah. five aisles instead of one I have I have paddle boards oh yeah okay so you want them to be at least 30 inches and at least 10 feet Okay. Okay. So it's pretty close. So Whoa, pretty $125 close. though. Yeah, mine were more than that. Okay. So that's very inexpensive for a paddleboard. Okay. So um, this might be an okay buy? I haven't seen it blown up, so I really can't say the quality. I've had mine for three years and they're going strong. Is this an inflatable one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And mine comes with a backpack to carry like from your car to the Oh, beach. nice. Yeah. And so if it doesn't have that, you should... it's worse than me carrying the groceries. It's awkward. <laughs> Well, and actually, these are kind of cute for $9.99, these flower pots here. They're a good size. I actually have ones like this at home. So that's, I, I could probably get on board with that. What is this green thing over here? Premium pool noodle? No, my kids do not get premium pool noodles. They get the dollar store ones and they have to double them up, you know? I do like, if you have little kids, I like these splash mats because you don't have to worry about, you know, standing water. So um, they're cheaper on Amazon, but that's not a horrible price for them. Those are fun. I agree. Yeah. That's that's a really good idea for little yeah. kids. Christine, uh, get us out of this aisle. Listen to us. We're telling like, you no, to buy things. Like, no, I'm, we're, no. Hang on. I'm just going to find something that's really dumb and tell you not to buy it. <laughs> All right, and one other thing I can no longer buy at Aldi is um, like plants you plant in the ground. I got a hydrangea bush last year and it was beautiful and it did not come back this year but you know minnesota winters are kind of tough i shouldn't have bought it in the first place i found the bluebell okay i've never had bluebell okay this is so it's made in texas and oh. i'm was born and raised in texas okay. so it's it's like a religion okay okay there's nothing better really like it's especially if you go to the creamery like there of course when you package it it gets a little package taste but when it comes to bluebell you do not look at the price you look at the flavors Okay. Okay. Here are my favorites. Okay. All right. Butter crunch. It's like Butterfinger crunched up. Okay. okay. Uh, butter pecan is a top favorite. Okay. The cookies and cream. Classic. <laughs> um, this is a new one. This oatmeal oh, cream pie. Oh, like a little Debbie. Yes. I've never oh, I kind of want to try that. So oh, I, they have little so ones they have too. A little guy of oatmeal cream pie, so I want to try it. Yeah. Because I feel like that's ridiculous. To have, like, get a whole thing not knowing if they're going to like you it. You and me go to town <laughs> <laughs> on a half gallon. Uh, well, Dave will help too, right? <laughs> so three of us on a half gallon. That's, that's ridiculous. Uh, so if anyone's in the Nashville area and you want to come and try the oatmeal cream pie one with us, I think we'll, we might have a little extra. Unless it's really good, then we're not going to have extra. Yeah, I mean, right? listen, I love carbs. I'll just take down the whole thing. <laughs> We do not get the frozen pizzas here. They used to be a really inexpensive, but now you might as well get Jack's because they don't taste good. You guys probably don't eat frozen pizzas because you're so healthy. So funny you mention that. <laughs> <laughs> I just recorded a video where I bought frozen pizza in a grocery oh. haul, but it's the Freshetta. Oh, so you um, went bougie with your But frozen. they go on sale. I'm saying okay. they go on sale. I think they were $4. Well, so for Each. now, how expensive and, these and are. And these are three fifty. Yeah, that and would be worth it, right? Get a much better pizza. Okay. See, Christine, I'm so glad we brought you with us today. This has been really helpful. Well, when my mom watches the kids, she's like, I don't want to cook. Yeah. So I'm no. like, sure, mom, frozen pizzas it is. <laughs>
I've never known anyone else allergic to bananas. Like, is that a thing? Did you just make that up? Or when you were a kid and you're no, like, I no. want to feel special. <laughs> oral allergy syndrome and it's developed later in life oh and so I developed it after I had my second kid in my mid-20s okay yeah we'll take your word for it it's a thing <laughs> <laughs> all right well I think we're gonna check out and um, we would love to know what do you always buy at Aldi what do you not and just leave at the store it's always fun to hear your ideas as well and I will put the link for Christine's video too so be sure to go over and check that out as well all right, we love you and we'll see you again soon.